Back here in Hampton Roads, another round of vandalism at local car dealers. It's the second time this week we've been reporting on this type of crime and victim. Now, Monday, we showed you damage to two car sales businesses in Portsmouth, Mid Atlantic Motors and Sahara Motors, both on Frederick Boulevard. A third business in that city has now been hit, along with another one in South Norfolk. New tonight, questions about why it happened and more importantly, who did it? Watch closely at the window in the door. A young man pops up and scopes out Sono Auto Sales in South Norfolk. Moments later, smash. The suspects work hard to break the double paned glass. And when I got here, it was full of glass. I mean, we had part of the door frame that was busted down here on the floor, uh, glass everywhere. As I peeked through the window, it was my, my front office was completely shattered with glass. When the locks won't budge, the suspects, who were not identifying because they appear underage, rip the panes. It was just horrible. We were worried about whether or not they had, you know, vandalized or taken anything from inside. You know, it was our biggest concern as to whether or not they had gotten our keys. But when one young man climbs through into the front office, he looks right up at the camera. Maybe he gets spooked. He takes right back off the way he came in. You know, my first thoughts were these are probably kids, you know, out doing this, and I'm wondering what's going on in the homes of, you know, why these kids are running around at 2.30 in the morning doing this kind of thing. 50 minutes after the smashing at Sono, someone ransacks the key rack at GAC Automotive in Portsmouth. The owner says an employee chased him away, and the young man dropped all the keys. Now these two auto shops just want to know who did this and why. I'd just like for this to maybe reach a neighbor who knows this kid, um, a parent, of course, who knows him, maybe a teacher or somebody that he works with, so that he can be held accountable for what he's done and maybe, you know, get some discipline so that this can put him on the right path as an adult. Well, right now, police aren't sure that the two incidents we just showed you are related. However, Portsmouth Police just told me the young man who took the keys in that video could be part of the group that also vandalized those two car shops on Frederick Boulevard over the weekend. Detectives say it may be a group of three teenage boys and one teenage girl.